Let's draw the Lewis structure for N2O. This is called nitrous oxide, or you could call it dinitrogen monoxide as well. The first thing we need to do with Lewis structures for something like NO2 here is count up the total number of valence electrons. If we look at the periodic table here, we can see that nitrogen right here, group 15, sometimes called 5A, that has five valence electrons. We have two nitrogen atoms. And oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, that has six. 10 plus 6, 16 total valence electrons for the N2O Lewis structure. So this turns out to be a pretty challenging Lewis structure to draw because there's a number of ways that we could do it. We want to draw the best Lewis structure for N2O. So let's put the least electronegative atom in the center of our Lewis structure. Nitrogen is the least electronegative. So we know nitrogen is going to be in the center. And the oxygen, that'll be on the outside. Now we can put a pair of electrons between the atoms to form the chemical bond. So we've used four, we have 16 total valence electrons. Let's complete the octets on the outside atoms. And now this nitrogen and this oxygen, they have octets, and we've used all 16 valence electrons. So we're going to have to move some electrons to the central atom to form a double or triple bond. So let's move these here and then these here. So this works. We have an octet on the nitrogen, this nitrogen here, and the oxygen. So this is a valid Lewis structure, but we could draw it two other ways. So we could have moved these electrons here, and then we could have moved these here. So now we have the triple bond here. This nitrogen has eight, this has eight, and the oxygen has eight. This is another valid Lewis structure. Finally, we could have made a triple bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen here. And this works too. Octet, 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 still using just 16 valence electrons. So to figure this out, which one is the best Lewis structure, the most favorable Lewis structure, we'd look at formal charges. I'm going to write those in. If you need help determining formal charge, there's a link to a video on determining the formal charges for these compounds. So the formal charges are, we want our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. So it looks like this one here is right out. This one doesn't work. We have a negative two, plus one, and a plus one. Here, it's pretty much the same thing. Positive one, negative one, positive one, negative one. So we're going to select the Lewis structure that has the negative charge on the more electronegative element. So the oxygen here has the negative one. That makes sense. It's more electronegative than nitrogen. So this is the Lewis structure for N2O. This would be the best or most favorable Lewis structure for N2O. Understand, though, that these other structures are what we call resonance structures. They're not the major resonance structure, but the actual molecule. It'd be an average of these structures here. And since oxygen and nitrogen don't have a huge difference in electronegativity, I would say that this is the major one, but there's a good bit of this here. And they're all averaged together again for one structure. So in a sample of N2O, you would have the average of these resonance structures, with this being the most important one. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for N2O nitrous oxide, also called dinitrogen monoxide. Thanks for watching.